In today's video, we're gonna make a gold farm from gravel that's crushed into sand and into soul sand and into quartz and gold. And I built a dedicated building for it and I'm gonna show you in how to do it all. But first, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And whilst you're down there, hit that like button because it really helps me a lot. And without further ado... In the last episode, we made some few things like this and also this and also this and this and that and then in between episodes i have been busy so basically in between episodes i have constructed a wall right there so it looks like it's one it's intentional so as you can see right here it's fence and it looks good now and right back here from behind the buildings as you can see we have three new plots because in today's episode, we're gonna build me a gold and quartz farm. Chili, you're saying to yourself, how the hell do we make a golden quartz farm? So basically, to get gold, you need either wash some red sand or wash some soul sand. I'm going the soul sand route, because you can get soul sand by hunting some sand. Then to get sand, you need to crush gravel. And by crushing gravel, you get sand and also clay. We can also make a terracotta farm by doing this, which I'm going to make because there's three different sectors what I'm about to build. It's fairly, oh, it's fairly simple actually. But how are we gonna do that? By these crushing wheels, as you can see. So basically I'm gonna do this design for all the gravel and sand and clay and we should be good but what is special is because right here we are gonna make gonna make me i'm gonna take out of drawer like so and right beneath that drawer i'm gonna put an exporter then what i'm gonna do with exporter is basically hook it up to our network storage through here just like so and that's hooked up so if you put gravel right here like so that will fill up we got a key there you go as you can see the next step is to put some sort of funnel right there put a belt like there then a vertical gearbox right there and right there put your crushing wheels there there you have your crushing mechanism it's that basic actually so a quick update on what i've built so basically this is the whole uh, the whole farm session essentially so gravel comes through here gets crushed by these crushing wheels and then goes to this first belt that separates the sand and the flint and the clay so the sands end up here to this belt gets solidified and then goes to this part and gets washed turns gold and quartz and goes to this belt with an underside funnel right there no actually brass funnel goes to brass funnel that tells this it only allows gold and nether quartz right there and then clay and flint goes through here the clay gets through here through a filter then clay gets crushed turned into a clay block and then that will get cooked goes to this funnel through this underside funnel right there actually a brass funnel up there that will sell the system only take terracotta which we don't have so let me get clay and let's cook it up you see the smelting tab right here and once that's done i'm gonna put that there and then flint goes through here because we don't fl we because we don't need flint it will go into the lava as you can see it's fairly complex back for what it is and once the terracotta is done cooking it will go down to the chute if you follow me through this line of belt and we'll go through our storage system as you can see and same thing for the golden quartz that will go through here and go through there oh god the lag oh god the lag Okay, I found a mistake and I fixed it. As you can see, it's now working. But if I go too close, it will cause a lag or... Oh, actually no. So, yep. Definitely will cause lag. 
there we go. My frames are somewhat back, but we don't want to leave this exposed, do we? So we need to construct a building on top of the farm. But in the beginning of the video, I said I need to fill out this tree and I have designated an area for this, but it looks like we really need just this. It's working pretty well. Why am I flying so high? Because this cautious lag. Uh, my frames just went to 10, 20, 7, 8, 14, 20. Um, that's not good. Let me build up an area for this real quick and I'll be right back. As you can see, the building is done. Let me give you a tour of what I built. So basically, this is our gold farm. What I like about this building, as you can see in the corners, there are pillars or some sort. Pillars, air quotes. And as you can see, none of my buildings are square. And I thought to myself, how about I build a square building? That could be easy. Well, I'll spend a lot of hours in this because with the frame blocks, you need to be precise and you need yourself a wrench to basically get this L to line up. And then at the top, I don't know what to do. If you have any suggestions for the roof, like maybe you can build a water tower or some sort, let me know in the comments section down below. Now let's go inside. As you can see, there are delivery bays that you can open, but there's no use. Basically, the building is just a facade on what's going on inside. As you can see, I have detailed here all the outside, some bushes, and then some crates, and useless crates, then some railing around this. So we go inside, as you can see, it's pretty basic. I added some fans. <laughs> Simple touch, but I like him. And I said I added the second floor. And basically this is the farm. Nothing has changed besides we don't have any gravel in our ME system. As you can see, our gravel is completely de depleted. What I'm planning to do is to build a gravel factory up here or we could do or we could do right here. Cuz I don't want that to be our gold and gravel farm i think we should make a dedicated gravel farm for this area right here and for the upcoming episodes i'm gonna fill this land i have already had an idea what what to build here of course the gravel farm and then we'll see in a future episode and that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button and like down below and it's me chili signing out